Aaron Coleman from WAOH TV talking a little bit about a special event coming to Akron, Ohio, House 330 on Wednesday, September 18th. And the keynote speaker for that event is Donald Whitehead Jr., Executive Director of the National Coalition for the Homeless. Mr. Whitehead, how are you doing today? I am doing great. How about yourself? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Uh, before we get into the event itself, there's no place like home coming to House 330. Tell us a little bit about yourself. What got you on this journey shedding light on a very important topic, not only in our society, but also in Akron and Summit County? So I, uh, first of all, am a uh, um, native of Cincinnati, Ohio. So um, all parts of Ohio are extremely important to me. Um, my um, start in this work came through my own lived experience. So um, as a child and as an adult, I experienced homelessness myself. Um, and so um, once I uh, was free from homelessness, uh, I made the decision uh, that I would re-enter um, the system as an advocate. And I started as an advocate. Uh, I've done a ton of service work uh, in, in shelters and soup kitchens all over the country. And uh, uh, the issue became my ministry. And that's what I consider it today. Absolutely. And there's no place like home, luncheon, House 330, Akron, Ohio, September 18th. First of all, Donald, can people still register? And second part of that question is, what can people expect when they come to House 330 next Wednesday? Um, so uh, I, I, people can still register, first of all. Um, and what people can expect is um, a, a, a firsthand uh, um, uh, explanation of the underlying issues that lead to homelessness. So often we think of homelessness as a issue of uh, personal choice um, or issue of bad decisions. But uh, my presentation, I believe, underscores the idea uh, that homelessness is inevitable sometimes and that it is not a permanent situation that people can do something different with their lives um, and, and go on to do um, things that people consider success. Um, I consider success in Booker T. Washington's definition. Uh, success should be judged by one's station, not by one's station in life, but the obstacles they had to overcome to get there. Absolutely. Definitely agree with you there. And another two-part question for you, Donald. What steps can we as a community take to help those in need when it comes to homelessness and things of that sort? And Numerous nonprofits, such as the Akron Snow Angels, who reached out to you for this event, are doing their part to help. But obviously, what can other people do to help on the grassroots level? Um, I think there's many different ways that people can help. I mean, whatever skill and talent you have, uh, some sector of the homeless population can can utilize it and and uh it can be a benefit for those who are experiencing homelessness so uh volunteering um in in any way that you see whether it's feeding people or tutoring people or helping people with resumes um all of those things are incredibly important and really impactful to people and really make a difference when people see someone across the table that doesn't have to be there supporting them it really is empowering um you can also uh, advocate you know talk to your elected officials um about the issue of homelessness and what you'd like to see done uh in in uh in 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 a uh, a trade, if you will, for your vote. So in order for that person to receive your vote, there are things that you would want them to do. Uh, so you should voice that they work for you. So it's important that you make, uh, help them understand that you believe in these issues. And finally, um, it's it's incredibly expensive um, to, to work on issues that should be uh, handled by our federal governments and our local governments. Uh, if they're handled by private individuals, it's incredibly expensive. So uh, to the extent that you can, uh, please donate uh, to organizations, whether it be through items or whether it be a monetary donation. Um, uh, organizations like mine and others uh, are always at the edge of survival 
um, because uh, especially in, in, in political seasons. So what you can do uh, in that vein is incredibly important. Yes, definitely. And uh, last question here for you, uh, Donald. Uh, homeless numbers have gone up across the United States, especially in Summit County in Ohio. What made you decide that Akron is a good place to continue this education and try and um, not only educate, but also help people as well? Um, you know, so two reasons. My love of Ohio. Um, you know, I absolutely am, am you know, if you go in, in my um, room across the hall here, um, uh, you'll see a wall that has all things Ohio on it. Uh, mostly Cincinnati Bengals, but but all things Ohio. Um, so I am a passionate advocate for issues that affect Ohio. Um, but secondly, um, I think it's important to get out into the community in places like Akron and 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 communities that are surrounding it to make sure people understand uh, that I can hopefully leave them with information that leads to positive outcomes for people experiencing homelessness in their community. So wherever I can make a difference, uh, I believe uh, it is my ministry. And I believe that I have to, um, it, it, I am guided to do this work. And I, I want to do it in as many places as I possibly can in the country. And certainly my affinity for Ohio uh, will always bring me uh, to anybody in Ohio that, that, that asked me to come. Uh, I'm going to show up and I'm going to do whatever I can to make a difference. I, I think I owe it to the great state of Ohio and the city of Akron to do that. Yeah, you certainly are making a difference. Donald Whitehead Jr., the executive director of the National Coalition of the Homeless, joining us here on WAOH TV. There's a special event coming to the Rubber City on Wednesday, September 18th, there's no place like home. The luncheon is from 1130 to 1 p.m. Folks could still register on the Akron Snow Angels website, www.akronsnowangels.org. Donald, thank you very much for joining us this evening. We certainly appreciate it, and we look forward to seeing you on September 18th. Thank you so much, Mr. Coleman. You have a wonderful day. I look forward to meeting you. You as well. Thank you.